Uh, hi everyone, so yeah, you join me again in that lovely meeting spot of Tesco uh, in heaven and uh, it's been very rainy today, we did get wet earlier but um, we weren't recording and she's all dry now maybe even slightly shinier than she was before anyway, so pushing the boundaries of vlogs here um, I'm on a mission a mission to find some tea. Something that you can have with corn on the cob. So uh, that's why it's called the corn on the cob blog. I know, pushing the boundaries. Anyway, let's see how we get on in Tesco. Well, hopefully that was a successful trip. I'm just hoping, uh, like most men, I haven't uh, overestimated the size of my meat. Um, got some ribs, right, that fits, some extremely calorific cheesy bites, this is to go with the sweet corn, I'll do a little review of this uh, Tesco fabric freshener because my jacket's starting to hum and uh, I won't have time to wash it and dry it before the meat so next meet on Sunday hopefully I'll be going to. The last thing is this, now I'm hoping to have a bit of fun with uh, Mr. Spicy 110. Uh, if I get time, I'm going to nip out and uh, I'm thinking maybe hide it somewhere on Spicy Island and send him a picture message and see if he takes the bait. And it fits in the back box, thank God for that. Be a bit careful of that rolling around a bit, I guess. It's a rather nice helmet. Scooter. Maybe his other bike is a Ducati or a Pulse Adrenaline. That's, that's, that's nice, sensible foot, footwear there. Gotta love the footwear. Oh, you fucking strap on. Get in. Don't make me take off my other glove. You prick. So yeah, first let's get rid of my meat, get it in the fridge so the missus can cook it for me when she gets home from a hard day's work. It's what she would have wanted. And then uh, see if I've got time to nip out and plant, plant an energy drink or two around the uh, area. Ah, la 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 la. So, what else have I done today? Ordered a paddock stand off eBay. Nowhere seems to stock them. They said, oh, we get a couple in at the start of the season and then we don't get a call for them, so they don't order them in. Not one I even offered to order it in for me. And I found out one, one guy, a lady answered, I said, oh, do you have any rear paddock stands? And she went, oh, I'll just go check. And I heard the guy in the background, I heard the guy in the background say, Oh, I've got some somewhere, but uh, they're a bit hidden away, just say no. I was like, <laughs> say, so you've got some, I want to buy one, but you can't be asked to get it out of your stock room. Well, might be why some of you little independent guys are going out of fucking business. I would name and shame you, but you know who you are. Go on, mate, you could get a bus through there. <sighs> Wait for breathing the helmet as well. <laughs> so, yeah, the meat was delivered safe and sound, so you know. We shall feast on ribs of pig. We shall end corn of cob. We should lean cheesy fingers on mozzarella and get fat. Six, yes. Distributed at the Belplex. Unless people 
are watching us on camera. I wonder what the fuck we're doing. Um, hmm. Didn't really think of a place to hide it. So, um, let's, let's, let's put it down in the bushes here. Okay, there we go. Uh, wash it before you drink it, just in case a rat pisses on it. Um, so yeah, so there's a light as a reference point. It's just below that. So there's number one. If he texts me and says I'm not doing this, I'm fair upset. It's cost me a massive investment of 60p. 60p, man. It's a lot of petrol. Uh, I'm here. I may, may have uh, had a Pepsi Max before leaving. Ticket to the Max. Today's episode is sponsored by Pepsi Max. No, not really. It's pleased to not write to your lawyers. Ginger Biker is not responsible for anything he says. He has not had his medication today. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep. Now, I've seen him go down there, but... Can we just go down there? Let's go down there. I have no idea where I'm going apart from on his videos. <laughs> he probably went down the public footpath though, didn't he? Is this where the donkey is? Of course. Uh, nice cup of tea. Milk and two sugars, please. I don't know where he goes. He goes through there, but does he really? If I, uh, if I break down or run out of petrol, I may have to drink Spicy's drink to keep nourishment in my body. When he finds my dead body, I'm sure he'll chow down on my ginger nuts. That's a previous vlog of his, by the way, not just some gay slang. The mystery of the spicy 110 donkeys remains intact. Finally got the idea from this. Uh, quite a few people have been offering uh, spicy money towards his license, which I think is really nice of you. But um, I think Spice is the type of lad who uh, he never wants to be called a sellout or anything like that. And although he, I'm pretty sure he really, really appreciates the gesture, however long it takes, once he does it, if he does it off his own back, it's so, it'll be so much sweeter. Um, but you know, little donations of energy drinks, I'm sure he'll accept. <laughs> Shall I bury it? That'd be fun. <coughs> yeah, bury it, bury it, bury it. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me, I shall try and edit this down, but for, due to time restrictions it will need to be going up quite raw. So yeah, if you are uh, if you back Spicy110 to uh, and wish him luck with sorting out his licence, press the like button. <laughs> oh, it's exploded in my back box. Ooh. Right, let's go bury this. I'm not going to make it too hard. Uh, uh, right. <laughs> Actually, I might just hide it under a hut. That might be just as good. <laughs> I choose this hut with the big thistle. Uh, mind your fingers. Oh, a pebble with some paint on it, just to hide it. You can keep the pebble as well. Yeah, it's well hidden. Right. Good luck, Spice. Hope you take up the challenge. If not, and you happen to be wandering around Hailing Island, you're a bit thirsty, a bit weak on energy. Drinks are on ginge. She still gives me a semi.
of Rodin. Going the wrong way, round around a bad thing. Oh, it's getting foggy. Over there. Nice. Over there. Shite. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll dry you off with the towel when it stops raining. And I'll tuck you into bed and I love you. <laughs> it's, all, it's not rain, it's tears. Tears of joy. <laughs>